There we go. We managed to get a culmination for the item. This is really interesting. It's such a waste, guys. Oh my god. What's up, guys? It's Ten Kosha, and today in Soul Knight Prequel, we will talk about Helixar Infusion in Soul Knight Prequel. So, in order to do the infusion, you gotta unlock the Madame Silver's Parachute. It is available really soon as you go into the new area, into the new zone. And here you get two options. First one is the normal basic Helixar infusion, second one is advanced. Helixar Infusion. You will need specific resources for that. The easiest way to get those is going through those Helixar dungeons. I would advise going on difficulty 5. This is the most easy one to complete if you can get level 6. So yeah, select the one that you can get and this is one of the best way to get that and additional loot. So yeah, those are very good for those resources. So now, how infusion works? That's additional form of upgrading your equipment. The basic infusion is pretty simple. You just put anything you like over there and it will give you the random bonuses. Let's use this crossbow as an example. Some things may happen. There are several effects available. So for the normal infusion, you can get modifier enchantment, superior modifier enchantment and fate bound enchantment. And the modifier enchantment will boost one of your modifiers over here. And for the normal uh, basic Helixar infusion, it's up to tier four. So this is like lower tier, this is higher tier and the higher the tier is the higher the bonus. So let's do this thing and see what will happen. You are waiting for a bit and bam, you are getting the result. Modifier enchantment. So we got the basic buff here. One of our skill cooldowns got buffed. So now it have plus 10% extra bonus. The more of those infusions you will do, the more it will cause you to do another one. So uh, you might want to go for something better, but at some point it will be kind of worthless because it would be way too expensive. Moreover, after doing the infusion, you will get additional bonus modifier and uh, it's pretty random so when you're doing uh, another infusion it will change and the effect will be reset and you will get another results this time we got superior enchantment in this situation two of your modifiers will be enchanced and it can be one modifier enchanced twice or two different modifiers like in our case we got the skill cooldown here and bonus minion power over here and this intelligence is a bonus modifier. Another thing that can happen is fate bound enchantment. In this case, this helm was enchanted and strength boost is Helixar touched right now. What does it mean for us? That we have three of our strength boosts in different items and this one, and it's separate from your normal buffs, so you can stack them with your normal enchantments, normal fate bounds. While the normal strength boosts give you 25 on tier 2 and 50% extra strength on tier 3. Uh, Hexal Targe give you a tier 2 bonus with uh, some negative effect. In this case, it's minus dexterity. It's not that bad to be honest for this build, so I can go with it. And yeah, guys, any of your fate bounds can be uh, Helix are attached and you can stack as many of them as you want. Uh, but some of those are not so good. What's good about them, though, that you need only one piece in order to be active that saves up a lot of space in your inventory for the fade bound so you can get more complex builds like that so your basic infusion is really good for early game while you're leveling up to get some extra stuff on your gear and uh, it can be replaced quite easily so don't worry about that you can do it as many times as you want and there are really no negatives to it other than if you get some hex are attached boost that you want to keep you don't want to do it again otherwise you will lose it so for for example, for this helmet, we got this one from the start, I think, and it doesn't have that additional uh, modifier, additional stat over here. And if we'll do additional infusion, we will lose this bonus and that won't be great, right? So yeah, early on, it can be used to boost your weapons that have nice bonuses for you. If you're taking some stats on your gear, that can help you to boost them up a little bit and maybe you'll get lucky to get something extra. Or if you want to feed some fate bound that doesn't have space to get like three pieces or two pieces you can uh, infuse one of those get like with the helixar attached fade bound and go with it here are the chances of the basic helixar infusion you get 55 percent to get the normal modifier enchantment 18 percent to get superior one for two stats and fade bound enchantment have 27 percent so the chance is pretty high 
uh, if you have enough of those resources, you can roll it a couple of times and probably get what you want. And yeah, since the basic helks are so easy to get, it's not a problem. You can spend it as much as you want. You will have a lot of that coming your way without any issues. Now let's move on to advanced helks are infusion. This one is way more complex and way more expensive. First of all, it uses that advanced helks are. It's still pretty easy to get, but the good thing about it uh, that you can use it for your epic nodes that are available in season one that will give you extra stats and uh, at the higher level will lower the corruption that you will get. So some of those bonuses are really nice even in the first tier and they cost quite a lot. So for the first tier of seals it's 40 per step and the last step will be 80. For the second tier it's 80 and for the third uh, tier it's 120. So those bonuses are nice but they are very pricey and if you will spend it on the resources that you don't need you will sacrifice your progression basically here which you will need anyway. So advanced Helixar infusion can get over rank 4 so you will can get even higher modifiers Moreover, you get malignancy and culmination effects available as well. Here are the chances to get different effects. Normal modifier enchantment is 50%, superior 17%, fade bound 25%, malignancy 5% and culmination 3%. And yeah, since it's that expensive, you really don't want to go for it until you are mid late game and you would like to know what you are going for. You don't want to just randomly get it because uh, you can get malignancy that will totally destroy destroy your weapon and replace it with the malignant weapon of the same uh, slot so for example if we will do it for this weapon right it will give us a random weapon it can be sword it can be crossbow it can be other magic book or something we don't know moreover the malignant item will is guaranteed to get helixar attached fate bound and all the uh, bonus that it will get will be at least tier 3. But that item cannot be infused anymore and cannot be changed through the ores in order to adjust its uh, fate bounds or substats. And as you can see, depending on the weapon, on its tier and everything, the price will be different as well. And I actually don't know if we'll get the normal rarity one. Do we get the normal rarity or G tier rarity? Let's actually give it a go. This one is cheap, so we can do it and see what do we get. We got superior modifier enchantment. We got the regular damage boost and some strength. It's not that crazy. And the price increase both for the normal regular uh, infusion and advanced one. So the price will go for both options. And uh, you gotta keep it in mind when you're doing that. There we go. We managed to get the culmination for the item. This is really interesting. It's such a waste, guys. Oh my god. So I wanted to get the malignancy, but we get a culmination. A uh, culminated item will get a nice uh, border, and it also increases the base stat of the equipment, add additional random substat, and all substats will be tier 4, so... And bonuses here are pretty crazy, as you can see. This culminated item will not be able to be infused ever again, so you can't do anything about that, but you can upgrade it in the blacksmith in order to boost your stats a bit more. And let's get extra modifiers. Yeah, those are not upgraded, those are the same, but you will be able to use the ores to get it to the next tier though so lidite is still able to work here but have it won't work because it won't be able to change those things now let's talk about the culmination culmination have three percent chance to succeed and what happens with the culminated item that it becomes like op locked version of the item it's really recommended to do it only with the best in slot item that we'll use for the long term because after the culmination you won't be able to change the additional stats but you probably will be able to change the fade bounds around but yeah sub stats will stay as they are and you won't be able to get the helix are attached uh, fade bound on those items moreover once you will get the culmination you won't be asked if you want to accept it or not it will automatically go there and that item will not be available for any other enchantment after that right guys i've spent all my advanced helix are in, in order to try to get malignancy and i was unlucky so we will have to use uh screenshots for that from the discord uh, so so this weapon was infused in the end when you get the malignancy you will get the confirmation that you want to do that reset enchantment levels and may transform the equipment's type 
from the infusion, you say okay, and that's what you get in the end, a totally different weapon, it got pretty good stats actually, one of the fate bounds is helks are attached, and uh, the bonus here is good for the summoner basically, got the minion power, and all those sub stats are pretty high tier, which is pretty cool. This is another example of twin guns, dual pistols, uh, same, a lot of skill cooldown bonuses here, crit damage, so it's pretty cool. And one of the helics are attached, uh, fate bound. So yeah, guys, uh, now when you know how it works, how you would like to use that system, I would advise to use the basic infusion for the most items that you are using, because uh, going for advanced one, first of all, requires a uh, helixarai that you can use for your uh, epic uh, skill enchantment moreover you can get culmination when you don't want to because you want to get the culmination when you get the nice upstats when you rolled all of them for your equipment and honestly personally i don't have any items like that on me i would like to change them all and then again you would like to know what you are going for if you are going for malignancy just get the unupgraded low tier equipment i'm not sure if the rarity will change so if you put the blue or green gear i don't know what kind of gear you will get i've spent all the resources trying to get that let me know in the comments if you know how it will work do you get green malignant weapon in the end or you will get the legendary one but yeah in any case you can put just tier one uh, not upgraded uh, legendary equipment get this enchantment and uh, get the chance to get malignant equipment like that if you want that so yeah if your equipment is upgraded and you are still working on the substat just use the normal enchantment it's cheaper you can roll it more times and afterwards you can go for advanced one to get the culmination but then again with a success chance of three percent uh it's not that high so theoretically you gotta do it at least so theoretically you will need to do about 33 times in order to get the good results on average so yeah that will be very pricey and i'm not sure that any item will be good enough after 33 infusions because it will be very expensive like this one was infused three times and it already cost 23 of those things and can you imagine 33 infusements that's expensive so yeah i guess i'm lucky that i got culminated green helmet that i don't really need that i will just sell right now it's nice that we saw how it works that this, those substats are locked but i think you can change the paid bound i actually used all my items before making the video to upgrade my own gear so i don't have any happy style but yeah i think it will work and yeah that's basically everything that you need to know about the helixar infusion additional pretty cool mechanics that you can use to boost your gear uh, and honestly it can change everything so much it can add you so much power especially if you already have all those nodes unlocked and you don't need any helix that advanced material and you can use it fully for your infusions and yeah if i miss something write it down below in the comments so uh, other people can see that and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i tried very hard to make videos for you if you want to play soul night prequel or other mobile games on the pc like i do over here you can get the ld player using the link in the video description there is also a playlist with more soul night prequel videos my other youtube channel social media and discord other than that thank you very much for watching it's been Stan Kosh. Have a good one. Bye.